I grew up seeing Fruhoff mud flaps, and I thought all trucks were Fruhoffs. In fact, they probably were. <laughs> there was the Fruhoff trailer corporation, and then there were about 150 other trailer manufacturers. They outsold all 150 combined. Fruhoff in German means up early, and by all accounts, my grandfather definitely lived up to that translation in his name. He succeeded in becoming the best blacksmith at the time in downtown Detroit. He struggled earlier with several of his blacksmith shops burning down, but he was still willing to keep at it and finally had success with the one on Gratiot, and that's where my grandfather met him. Otto Newman was walking along the street hoping to get a job and hoping to get an interview with August Fruhoff. And he heard commotion in the back. That was August Fruhoff trying to shoe this horse and cursing at it. So I guess my grandfather shouted back there in German also, having trouble, fella, something like that. And August shouted back, well, if you can come in here and shoe this horse, you could have a job. So Otto went in there and shooed the horse. So that's when they became partners. So in addition to shoeing horses, they would also they started doing wagon repair. And I think for them, it also segued into actually manufacturing a sort of a semi-truck. Mr. Sibley, a lumber baron in Detroit, came to August with a problem. He said, uh, I have a boat that I want to take up to my place up north. Would you be able to make something that I could bring my boat up to Michigan? So Otto and August had this totally brilliant brainstorm where they removed the back seat from the Model T and they removed the front axle from the wagon and they joined them with a primitive pin hitch. And Sibley was so impressed with this conveyance that he ordered these kinds of devices for his entire lumber fleet. And that was the first trailer, semi-trailer, because it didn't have front wheels. They had to be quick, they had to be nimble, they had to be inventive. They had over 2,000 patents in the course of their near century dominance in the trailer uh, industry. But the biggest inventions were the semi-trailer hitch, of course the semi-trailer itself, and then later the shipping container. He was always working, always thinking, always trying to come up with the next product and making something different and better. New materials, new designs, hands-on. The first refrigerated transport was for ice cream. Another invention early on that they developed was the early dump trailer. Not only did they have a rear dump, but they also created a side dump. His invention basically launched the transportation industry and helped support the economy and the development of America. Incredible invention, served many purposes, and we couldn't be where we are today without it.